Hey guys, what's up? Uh, well, you can see where I'm at, my favorite place, the back of the old 72 Mustang, and I wanted to get a little video documenting my new dilemma I have, which is, if you haven't guessed it already, I'm sitting here, there's the steering wheel, I'm sitting here in the center console area, looking at the back seat area, um... And I'm on going on the uh, Fat Man installation, and a couple of uh, concerns had come to my attention once I pulled off. The previous owner of the vehicle had some carpet panels or carpeting that he's cut out, typical home automotive car home or auto carpeting, that he cut out in the shape of a panel to fit that area right there that you're looking at, which would be actually like that if the quarter panel wasn't in the way. Or if the quarter panel was installed, I should say. And uh, I didn't even catch it when I first bought the car, but, um, you know, now that I'm looking at it, I pulled the carpet off, I can see that that's not how it's supposed to be. And that carpet didn't smell too good. Uh, I guess he was a smoker or something, or someone before him was a smoker. So it's pretty nasty smell, and it was contributing to the foul odor in here. So... I pulled them off, and I got online, and I started looking around to see, you know, what, what type of replacements you could get for that. And I uh, come across uh, CJ Pony Parts, of course, my favorite website for everything on this car. Um, and the panel area is called a sail panel. So the sail panels uh, would, be, would come from uh, right here, and they would go right there. Uh, and they sell them in a pair for 38 bucks, which which you can't beat. That's less than 20 bucks a panel, uh, which would be a lot cheaper than me trying to make my own. Uh, and the other dilemma I've come across is this area where the speaker pods are, where someone has cut out their own speakers over the years, I guess. Uh, this is called a package tray. And this evidently was covered uh, by the factory with a uh, fiberboard material, um, that is really not made anymore, covered. Uh, the only thing that you can get nowadays is just the actual piece of fiberboard, um, which I'm sure is just a piece of regular old masonite, but they got it for 20 bucks online, so I figured why not buy it, because that back area is contoured a bit, uh, and I don't really feel like, uh, messing around cutting my own piece, especially for 20 bucks shipped. So, I'm gonna jump online and order those, uh, sail panels and the package tray, and get those coming in. And evidently the sail panels that I'm going to be buying are covered in the same material as this headliner here. So hopefully uh, they'll be exactly what I'm looking for and they'll bolt right in with no problems. Um, if I need a bracket or two, I'm, I'm guessing I probably will because I'm looking at these. The way the quarter panels mount, they go onto a bracket like that which comes out of the body. Over here, I'll show you. Like that. There's another mount there, but if you look back here, someone's taken the mount off back there and back there because there's evidence of something existing there before I got here. So it's like that on the back over here as well. So I'm going to have to, I'm sure it won't be too hard to make or find a mount, I guess that looks like this because this is the one that came off of here. Because you guessed it, that's getting ready to get some fat mat. But this came off of here. Just like that. So I'm going to have to manufacture or find uh, brackets that will uh, accept those mounting locations that will be able to uh, then accept the sail panels. So um, that's my new dilemma. I got some cleaning up to do at this corner. Looks like either the previous owner got some glue drippage and didn't give a shit about cleaning it up or making a, a clean installation because over here there's none. Or maybe that's from the factory, who knows. But that's my new project, so I need to get some sail panels, get a package tray, uh, and then I'll deal with this uh, little back piece. It looks like a small ramp that then ramps again into the window, uh, which there's no panel in the world that is made to fit that that I can find. So I think that's going to have to be scruffed up and either painted black or... Uh, covered in a nice vinyl. I'm actually getting ready to go to the, the fabric store now, and I'm going to pick up a nice roll of marine grade black automotive marine grade black vinyl uh, to go over the package tray when it gets here because I'm going to have to upholster it myself. And then I've also uh, been looking at 
another dilemma that I'm going to be facing, and that is when this quarter panel over here is installed properly, which it's not, but you get the idea. When this is installed here and the seat back is mounted here, you can actually you're actually going to be able to see some of this fat mat, uh, like a thin edge of the fat mat once the seat's installed. And I believe from the factory, the package tray actually had an overlapping piece of vinyl that came down over it and then draped down uh, the seams where the where the seat will be installed. So, of course, uh, some custom vinyl work is going to come into play uh, to make that look like a nice, clean factory install the way it did uh, when it rolled off the line 40 years ago. So... Yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hitting this pretty hard over the next few days and weeks and months to come, and uh, try to get this thing looking brand new inside. You can kind of get an idea. I got the carpet just laid down in here. It's probably so dark you can't even tell, but it's a really really nice original. I guess that's a loop uh, pattern, which is really sweet looking. So. I just wanted to test fit it and make sure the contours and everything were correct, and they are, so it's going to be going in too. So, yeah guys, nice little uh, six or seven minute video, I probably talked your head off, but this is my new my new project here that I gotta I must face, or else I'm not going to be happy with the interior. So, I'll keep you guys posted as I go. See you later.